Good morning. So we're here at my new uh, iguana breeding place. <clears throat> Sorry, I have no lighting in here. I've used the foil styrofoam board as insulation. And just in case you guys like listen to headphones and use your Wi-Fi, this is like a Faraday cage. So no signal gets in. I just had to put my earbuds up because I just found that out. Thought I'd share that with you. This right now for me is uh, egg laying time. So do I have eggs or don't I have eggs? It's a question I ask every morning when I wake up. She just stopped, as I say, you can hear them dig. And one way you're gonna tell when your, your female's ready, your gravid female's ready to lay her eggs, is when she digs. And you'll see that by putting in a lay box. And the video I wanna do for you today is just kinda of showing you what I do with the <clears throat> type of dirt and the moisture level, what kind of box I have set up for my beautiful little female iguana to lay her eggs. And as if they're uh, fertile or not fertile, iguanas are kind of like the chickens. Each year, they may go and have uh, infertile eggs without a male partner. And lots of times, most of the times I found out that if they're not fertile, the female will reabsorb them. Uh, I have had them lay infertile eggs, and those you just discard or just, maybe you can boil them. I hear it's a delicacy in other parts of the world. You know, to each their own. I have uh, chicken eggs in the refrigerator. I don't need them. So, but I do, once they are laid, I give them about 10 days and then I'll candle them and find out if they are fertile or not. And, and when you candle them and you hold a bright light inside of them and you'll see veins or uh, masses inside the egg. So let's take a look at one of my lay boxes that I just uh, watered. All right, having some technical difficulties. So here I just cut a little hole. It doesn't have to be big as long as she can get in there. And I use just sphagnum moss. This is a, well shoot, I can't think of the name. This is all natural, oh, sphagnum moss compost. And again, sorry for the lighting. But all I do is moisten it up to where it'll hold its form. This, you know, just add enough water to hold it for them. Now, save you some trouble and time with this. I, I set it up, you know, months ahead of time, but I just leave it alone and I wait for them to start digging. And then I come back in and uh, see, she's lumpy. So she will, she has eggs, whether or not they're fertile or not, I don't know. I have several pregnant females this year. That's going to be normal green. That's going to be the clutch will be 50 50 El Salvador and Colombian albino. My reds in here are going to be reds and super reds. Big comfy female. And all the boxes are pretty much set up the same. <clears throat> now, here is my blue female. She is lumpy. I got some kind of weird lock going on on my phone. Oh, there we go. She's lumpy and that's 100% het blue, 100% Colombian albino, bred with a blue, I think it's type 2. And then you guys see how I did uh, albinos. Quick check up on Mr. Sunset. Hello, Mr. Sunset. As you can see, he's filling out nicely. We had to overcome some infection and stuff and put some weight on him. And so, that is about as complicated as it gets. Those iguanas will lay their eggs whenever they're ready. It doesn't matter where. They'll lay them on the ground, they'll lay them on the perches, they'll lay them in the corner. Sometimes they'll lay them in the water. Not good. But, uh, all natural, no pesticides, herbicides. Sphagnum, compost, I get Home Depot, worked out good last year, and let's hope it looks a little dirty. But it doesn't matter, as soon as you clean it, they come and poop, and they, they wait for it. That's the big thing of the day. So, I wish all y'all good luck with y'all's uh, egg laying and hatching. The hatching, I swear the egg laying swears like it takes forever. I've heard 8 to 10 weeks, I've documented 12 weeks. It does get cold here in South Louisiana this time of year. It really depends on where. What I've read up on is where your iguanas are from in relation to the equator is when they're ready 
to uh, when they ovulate and when they, uh, when they produce follicles, not ovulate, produce follicles and when they lay. So I have some that are about a month behind each other. Last year was the same way. One iguana laid eggs, a month later another iguana laid eggs. So it really just uh, I, well, it depends on where they're born. There's buddy. Hey buddy. So again, I wish all y'all luck. Thank you 117 subscribers so far. I appreciate it. I did have a shout out to do a, a, a lighting a video. I haven't forgotten. I just need to, I just want to set up so I can do it in detail. The more I explain it, it can get kind of complicated if you let it. And so I want to try to devise a way to make it as simple as possible to, uh, you know, make sure we don't have a whole lot of confusion and we don't want to sunburn or burn our iguanas. So, all right, stay tuned. I'll get that other video up. And I also have one come up on a DIY incubator. And the um, bad news is I didn't have my Hypo Red female. I, either I caught her too late. I swear she acts like a male, but I probed her and she's a female. Nice round tail. Probed her, didn't go in deep. She did not produce eggs for me this year. So I'm kind of bummed about that one. But very excited about all my other projects. I hope all y'all are having uh, good luck with y'all's projects. And if you have any questions, please comment below. Please like and share. This is my second year of eggs, so I'm really excited. I think I want to produce at minimum about 120 eggs. So that will be a juggling act. I hope you guys enjoy watching. All right, later. Till next time. All right, guys, I'm just going to attach this to the end of the video. Remember when I was saying that she wasn't grabbing and she didn't take? Well, surprise, surprise. I was feeding them this afternoon the same day I took the rest of the video. And look what I got inside the cage. They don't look fertile. They're very soft. I had a couple in the water bowl down here. I'm going to take them out. And she didn't show any signs. She wasn't swollen. Now you see her. She's shrunken up. So, yeah, she's a female. She done laid eggs on me. This is the wildest thing because she wasn't swollen. She didn't have lumps. She was eating every day. And she popped out, looks like about 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 eggs. So I, <laughs> that just blows me away. I sure as, oh, I would have bet my left foot on it that she didn't take. And so. They're really soft right now. I mean, she's just laid them. She might even have one more in there. But I'm gonna put them into my incubator and see what happens. So it just goes to show you, 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 you don't ever really know. But I mean, if you look at the beginning of this video when I showed her, she didn't even look swollen. She just looked upset and looked, you know, mad. Now I know why. But she was eating every day. She, she didn't, I didn't hear her digging. I didn't even have a layer box, so. Sorry, boo. Uh, oh, lesson learned. Just have lay boxes in your cages for your females all the time. Wish me luck.